Good evening, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and exceedingly glad in it. Psalm 65 and 11, you crown the year with a bountiful harvest, <clears throat> and even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Numbers 14 and 8, and if the Lord is pleased with us, he will bring us safely into that land and give it to us. It is a rich land flowing with milk and honey. And First Chronicles 23 and 26, now the Levites will no longer need to move the tabernacle and its furnishings from place to place. Father, thank you for giving the International Goodness Fellowship rest, relief, and release from our days of nomadic corporate worship as you establish us in a place of our own this month in Jesus' name. Well, we greet you with uh, our weekly from the pastor's desk email message to you, I'm trusting and believing God. I'm praying for you all that you're doing well, that you're yet prospering and um, advancing and experiencing everything that God has for you in spite of the current times that we find ourselves in. There's no need for us to be in despair or be discouraged. The Bible is being fulfilled right before our eyes and the things that God told us would happen are happening. So thereby our hope and trust can be that much more solidified in our God and our Savior, knowing that everything he has promised will come to pass and that in the end we win. Uh, well, so this is going to be a really short um, email message. This is week 36 of our Bible literacy campaign. After this week, just three weeks, just three weeks to go. And we'll be done. But if you have fallen behind, as we have always encouraged you, please keep going. Uh, Wednesday morning and Wednesday evening and Friday morning, we're going to resume our regular meetings, uh, our morning prayer sessions and our midweek uh, Wednesday evening session. They will resume. Uh, I believe workout worship is going to resume this Saturday also, but just watch us in band to see what uh, our own uh, sister Nikki Singh posts. And then finally, I'm going to make an adjustment to um, the uh, Sunday sermon section. I'm going to take out the sermons that were there uh, for pastoral preaching sabbatical, but you'll still be able to find them if you look through previous emails and also look on our church page and our closed group, and you'll be able to reference those if by chance you want to uh, listen to them again. If you can't find them, let me know and I'll get them to you. And I said finally, but there is one other thing I just want to uh, make an adjustment as far as uh, this email message is concerned. So we're coming close to our end of the year, uh, 40 year, I mean, 40 day uh, end of the year consecration campaign through uh, biblical eschatology using the Bible, um, obviously as our foundation, and then the Book of Signs by Dr. David Jeremiah as our uh, companion text. And so in the days ahead, in the weeks ahead, we're going to be uh, informing you of how uh, we can secure that book so that we can all walk through that together. I'm really excited and looking forward to that. Well, that's it. Um, until next time, the Lord be with you and heaven smile upon you and may he continue to watch over you in Jesus' mighty name. Take care.